feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. Hello, welcome to Germany. 6.30 in the morning, I'm literally just waiting for the sun to rise up over my shoulder here. I'm at Bergelts, Bergelts Castle in Germany. Um, I'm actually doing a talk here over the weekend, but for a great opportunity just to pop down and grab some shots. It just turns out this morning there's due to be quite a nice sunrise, so bloody awesome that, bloody awesome. Okay, so... I'm actually, the sun is about to kick off up behind there, up behind the castle. Um, so I'm actually, I've made the decision to go as wide as I can, 24 millimeters on this camera. Basically, so that I've got the op option later to sort of make my composition, you know, leave myself a little bit of leeway in Photoshop or Lightroom if I need to. So, you know, I can crop in if I need. You know, I'm talking, I've got a very high megapixel camera. So at the end of the day, it's not gonna be no skin off, you know, it's not going to be taking anything away from the image. Um, I wouldn't normally crop like that in a, um, you know, I wouldn't normally crop sort of as I'm, I'd normally compose in camera, maybe leave a little bit of, you know, a little bit of leeway, but this occasion I'm going to give myself a nice bit of sky because just up there it's about to kick off some lovely colours hopefully. Okay, yeah, this, the sky's starting to look really, really nice now. So, um, what are we at? ISO 100. F8, always on F8, right? Um, and my, coming out, my exposure time on my brightest exposure is 0.4 seconds at the moment. Um, I'm hoping for just a little bit more cloud cover just at the back there. Um, you can see it a little bit in the camera. Um, it was really nice a minute ago, but let's hope it does kick off. It look, looks lovely. Well, that was nearly a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. Clouds are now kicking off. I nearly missed it because the video camera just fell off of its stand, nearly rolled down the hill and smashed, it's dented the front of the lens element, uh, you know, the ring that put your filters on, so it fell. Oh, video, it's never easy. Anyway, in the meantime, we've got this composition lined up. The clouds are doing as expected up behind, and the light is starting to appear. So, yeah, ISO 100. At the moment, I'm just going to move my composition on that video a little bit so you can not just see my little face. Hopefully, I have to fly drones here, so I can't fly my drone. Uh, I want to capture as many photos as I can. I'm going to stick to one composition and try and nail it. Um, like I say, I've got it as a central, I've got it central in camera. I'll show you it now actually. Still hopeful it'll light up back there. Okay, so the latest situation is that the sun has been here hiding behind a big black cloud for quite some time, so I'm still waiting for that golden light. Looks like it's about to appear now, but unfortunately, maybe too late to light up the clouds at the back there, which is a real shame. We do have some stunning autumnal colours though, literally going on all through all the way all around the back of the castle like autumn's already starting to come on the certainly on the right hand side maybe not so much on the left the settings are still pretty much the same literally um, i actually forgot the um the clips for my graduate filters so i've had to sort of start bracketing my shots didn't realize i'd left them at home i brought the actual filters themselves but not the, the frames that they sit within so that's a bit annoying
think I'm going to change my composition slightly because the sky isn't really happening. I'm going to sort of come in, focus in a little bit more on the actual castle itself. sun there just behind all those clouds it's been behind those kind of most of the morning which is there see them a bit of a shame see the light there now look at that on the back of the camera looking beautiful I'm just going to take that shot because that's probably the nicest the light has been now actually it down there and just see it's just peeking across the top of the castle itself it's a stunning castle Okay, I think with that, that's everything. Unfortunately, a uh, huge cloud has rolled in over above my head and uh, it's gonna be there for some time. All the breaks in the cloud are gone. So I'm gonna pack up and, uh, and get on my way. Okay, so I'm now going down to see Jade. Uh, she's been in front of the castle that whole time, which is cool for her. I think she's got some amazing shots of self-portraits and stuff like that. I'm gonna go down and just grab some shots. I didn't put my tripod away, because I'm gonna grab some shots in front of the castle myself. Don't need the light for that, so I'll pop them up on the screen as well. I've actually got my Temba rolling roadie with me, but because I'm at a talk this weekend, I brought my laptop and all of that with me. So um, I thought best, really just to carry my rolling bag but because I need two hands free I'm not rolling it it's on my back because um, it does also double up as a rucksack as well which is pretty cool actually um, unfortunately I don't think I'm going to shoot this the lady's just opened that door up on the castle there and there's a red van parked behind so that doesn't exactly lend itself well to the, uh, the mystical theme um, it was better with the door shut Jade's actually got a photo with the um, door shut in a nice landscape format. So I'll edit that up and I'll give her some much needed credit for that. It's kind of nice moody sky. So very different to the images I was getting up the top there. And it just gives a little bit of a dimension and more to my uh, my video, really. Um, so that's kind of all for this week. I think, I say this week, I keep doing two videos a week at the moment. I'm obviously trying to build a channel, so that's as much time as I can manage, but also, it's good for me to try and practice editing those videos. Um, I think I'm getting better at them. It's kind of one of these things that's, um, I've been learning for longer than I've probably been producing video content. Um, and I want to get better at it. And it's more my cinematic -y type of stuff that I probably need to get better at. Also, I want to get a wider lens on a crop sensor camera. So I'm actually going to change this Lumix. I've currently got a Lumix GH7 and I'm going to change that uh, to a Canon 200D for filming with a 10 to 18. Uh, zoom so that I can actually talk to the camera a little bit more when I'm holding it. Um, I've also got to get some bigger arm muscles, you know, <laughs> maybe go to the gym a bit <laughs> um, because <laughs> that's heavy, that gimbal. Um, although it makes for nice smooth footage, uh, I'm really getting used to it, so it's really good. So I'm in Germany for four days. Uh, I'm actually doing a talk near to Cologne and near to, um, you know, the Berg Castle. Um, literally, um, tomorrow, this afternoon I believe my talk is, although I probably should know this. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully that's interesting. I won't be able to film the talk unfortunately, but what I will be able to do is um, film the rest of our on our Monday. Maybe Sunday we might go out for sunset and do some stuff, but certainly on Monday we're going to go out and maybe capture some film as well, which will be really cool. That was good timing actually. That is the uh, staff turning up for work this morning. They're probably used to seeing people down here every single morning, but um, yeah, that is my cue to leave. So 
yeah that's everything for today thank you very much for tuning in once more hopefully i can start growing a bit of a subscription base share this video with your friends why not comment below like subscribe all that good stuff maybe even hit that bell like i said before and um yeah i'll see you all soon i don't know what day this video will be up but i'm, I'm going to try and get a couple of videos here in germany hope you like what's coming i'm going to surprise you for the next bit as well um mainly because i don't know myself what we're going to do <laughs> but yeah hope you enjoyed it um stunning architecture so fits the channel right see you all soon take care goodbye